Hi, dear viewers. This is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome for me. If you remember, in the previous session, we worked on the adding and deleting sections. That is, now we can add a group to the user. Right now, we don't have any groups and uh, or we can remove a group as we mentioned in this session we are going to work on checking the group but there are some points that you need to be careful about while setting up your site so pay a close attention to these points the first one of these is if we make the adding group section dynamic that is if we set it up so that it, it does things automatically it would make things a little difficult because the admin may allow only a certain number of groups and introduce it to the system thus we would not be able to know with which name the groups have been defined and that is exactly why we need to see which groups are there on each section which makes things a little complicated okay uh, that is we are going to have to set conditions so that the admin would be able to see only these three menus and the user will not see the others it would make things a little complicated as you see why because we have no idea of what those groups are to make things easier is to define a few user groups uh, for the admin master user backup or any items that we need for the user panels any such groups that we are going to need there and the admin will be able to give permissions to any of these groups it will be able to define for the admin the operators and any other groups such as cells and users and they would be able to have access to their corresponding sections so it's better to do it this way as we said we shouldn't give the admin the deleting option we can set a few uh, default groups okay and he will be able to change the permissions of the groups we can even restrict the permissions for some websites uh, there needs to we need to define some accessibility levels with certain facilities on each level we define certain groups define their accessibility and their permissions to the Django admin and then we can add any user in the intended group and check if the user has been added to a certain group with their associated facilities or not these two methods are available if you want to maneuver over the users and define certain detailed facilities such as deleting adding etc and uh, give it for each uh, user each certain user and set them for its users with better work with permissions which we have not taught you yet we are going to teach you permissions later uh, that way you, it would be easier it would be you would be able to know which permissions i have defined for the user uh, for instance the news ad permissions now the admin can give this permission to any user that he wants and the name of this permission is constant okay to make the admin make the group dynamic would make things more difficult in the algorithms because everything would have to become dynamic if we want to go down that path we won't deal with it that way we just taught you how to make the groups but if you are interested you can do it on your own and deal with those complicated algorithms but we will teach you how to check this group both in view and template to see if a certain uh, user is in a group or not that is what we will work on in this session all right at first we go to the view we want to see in the view let's choose uh, one of the buttons for instance and the group if we add the group we want to set the section for one of the admins which is in the master 
and then check if the user was in the master group which is a default he will be able to see this section if he wasn't he will not be able to see this part that is he will not be able to enter the group all right at first i want to do it in view and then we will do this in the template as well we'll do it on both these platforms all right uh for the groups in the manager uh, manager underline group that is let's see it shows the name of the groups and then we add groups to it uh, on will as we wish first i want to limit this section to the users who are in the master users i use the if okay but uh, make our algorithm a little better i say perm short for permission equals okay zero i set my furring i say for i in request dot user uh, that's right dot okay groups dot all all the users usernames are received we work with this before and then we say if okay i dot name equals master user the default group on my mind per equals perm equal one now i would be able to know if my permission is zero or one now here i say if perm equal equals zero send it to to where error page let's go to the news view we send it to the error page and then uh, for instance we say access denied that's the error which is going to be shown is that okay now i check this part in the dashboard and go to the groups here it gave me access denied error and i can set this part in the views add okay uh, that is there i need to be a master user okay and now i make this group the master user group master user and save it okay now i add this group to the admin user group all right let's see and now i refresh the page and it opens for me and i would be able to see the master user now it is not convenient for the admin to see the default groups and delete them thus no one will ever be able to access those functions okay so what we uh, need to do here we need uh, not show the master user how do we need to do it how can we not show it in this section where we are showing all the groups we say dot exclude except except that's right uh, where name equals master user okay as you see master user is no longer shown so i hit the master user group and i will only be able to give the user access or not give it this access okay thus my two functions or any other functions can be managed now the group section only contains these two groups one is adding and the other is seeing the list which we control through the view to make sure it has the permission now over here uh, in the HTML we are going to do the same 
and we are going to check and see if the user is in the master he will be then he will be able to see the group section and if he is not in the master user will be denied access